één nacht met tegen. Ik ga het maar ta- Oh, Flan, oh, Flan, isn't he grand? He owes something here that rhymes. Enough of your yawping. For the sake of our ears, shut your mouth. Sure, and you're an idiot. You are all the same. Grab the bitch! Faye, won't you let a caged bird sing? Shit. I'd hoped an audience of tone-deaf Danes might permit. Are you kidding? Hold her down! Wonder of wonders. How much trouble can I be in at once? Can't help you. This one comes with me. No, no, no! She will answer for this insult! Can't change your mind? <laughs> you owe me. On your feet, poetess. Malian, everything is spinning. A cold bath will remedy this quickly. Malirach, <laughs> what was that for? To flush the ale from you. If you think I'm going to lug you to Tara, you're mistaken. Tara? Wait, who are you? Bardit sent me to collect you. He's waiting at the stables. Ah, an envoy. Tell me, how much coin would an envoy be wanting to speak nothing of this brawl to Bardit? He'll tie a guard to my hip the next time I'm in Dublin. A man can be so sensitive sometimes, do you know what I mean? I do. Bardit is my family. <clears throat> well, then, I think my mouth has gotten me in enough trouble today. Try opening it less. Works for me. Shall we? Barith has never spoken of you. What name do you bear? Eivor. I hail from Norway, now settled in England with the rest of my clan. A clan, eh? Are they all fist thumpers like you? It is because of these fists you live to sing another day, Mortis. So true. Bodith! I was beginning to worry. What took? There was... trouble. Ara, no need to be so tense. Shall we ride for Tara? We don't want to be late for the coronation. After you. I was surprised to meet a member of your family, Boris. Eivor tells me he's come from England. Yes, Eivor is helping to establish trade in Dublin, secure valuable resources with faraway lands. In time, Dublin will become the heart of Ireland's trade, one that each and every kingdom can benefit from. That will no doubt please the future High King. Yes, well, above trade, I am hoping Flan can see Dublin as a friend and ally. You and many others. Relationship with Barith would be one worth fostering. It would be foolish of your king to ignore it. It appears Eivor is not abreast with our kingly history, Barith. We were hoping to have a meeting with Flan. My wish is to strengthen our ties. Can you see it done? Perhaps. We will see how the evening goes.
Ein bisschen Joghurt im Bett, Ralf! Quite the event, hm? Spared no expense, that much is clear. Ara, my lady, one of the priests has gone missing. A violent mess is left of his tent. I fear something terrible has happened. Missing? Are you sure? Could be nothing. Could mean danger. Where's Flan? He's not yet arrived. That gives us some time. Kira, act as if nothing were amiss. Barrett and I will look into it. Where is this tent? Up the hill, to the left. Be careful. There was a fight here. It is the eve of the coronation and already trouble brews. Keep your wits and stay close. We do not know anything yet. Something dark happened here. We must follow the blood. A succulent roast. Let us go back and follow another trail. The blood stops here. Where do these cart tracks lead? This story is like to have a poor ending. I fear so, cousin. On such a momentous day as well. Flan's coronation may not be as hoped. There. The cart up ahead. Looks like they hit a snag. Recognize him? That is Senan, the priest. Bastard stripped him of his clothes. That camp up there. What is it? Anachdu is no camp. Though it appears someone has made it into one. Let's go. What do you think? The priest was kidnapped. They took his clothes. I believe whoever did this means to wear them. A disguise? We'll soon find out. Sent to kill Flan. The letter is unsigned. An unknown enemy. Come. We must bring news of this to Kira. I'm with you. You handled yourself well, Eivor. I have to say, you really are no stranger to these sorts of encounters. You did not do so bad yourself. Aye, we stopped the death of a king this day. If only we knew who was behind it. No idea who would go to such lengths. You can take your pick of the Northern E Nail Kings. Any story? The priest is dead, and so too are his killers. Bandits. I found this. It's an order to kill Flan. One of them was to disguise himself as a priest. Cut Flan's throat during the coronation. Right under our noses. Why take the risk? Why not poison? Or striking at him in his sleep? Poison can fail. And to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle. But your point is sound. The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flan fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation, I will not have this gnawing at him. Flan earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there.
Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well. I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah Fall. A sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations alone. Where's the food? You have not changed. I'm here. I may as well enjoy myself. Flan for Glad to see you. I reckon Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a Norse you can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. Is he the only one? <laughs> You're not shy, are you? Just perceptive. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. Flan said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. I've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favor, the bigger the reward. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon coops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. 
help solve their woes, and the kings will pay tribute with the men and supplies we need to invade Ulster. Slaughter, to a battle well fought and blood well spilt. To Ireland. Skull. Ah, another cup, my king. Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. Kira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Ireland. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers, for her to craft a ballad. I will give her your message, O oh brave king. Balith, you deserve another drink. <laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Lea Fall, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... it... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well, and her mother and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You're lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. You see such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a Norse who finds himself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ara, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. I all but forgot. Flan sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flan is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. It is beautiful. I used to wash away my cares and pain in this pond. Would it be all right if I... Of course. As a young girl, when the Christians cleared the forests of Druids, I fled and stumbled on this spot. How would I survive? My friends, the world I knew, soon... I turned to the children of Thanu. At first, they pledged simply to keep the old ways alive. Then, 
One by one, druids turned to dark rituals. Then they turned to worse. Yes, even murder. I disavowed the children, and now pray for their destruction. The High Druid spoke of some sort of awful might. Fantasies, an ancient fable of a people long lost. The Druids are now dispersed without a champion. You have King Flon. My hopes are placed in him, but am I a fool? He has no deep love of the past. He hopes to build a new Ireland. He pledges that my people will be part of it. But once he's king, storms will come. I cannot know where he will take refuge. You are no fool. You and I have been through much together. We came near death. I would like to celebrate life. Is this why you brought me to this place? Tis a lovely glen. Perhaps we could pass some time here. I would like very much to pass some time with you. I... lovely. Lovely indeed. <laughs> <laughs>